In this tutorial video, I will be showing you how to cancel an activated plan. For example, I want to cancel my eBay plan, click on the eBay page. On the top right, there is a cancel button. Click on that. And give a reason for why you are cancelling. Click on confirm. After you complete the cancellation, the plan will remain active until the end of the billing cycle, which is displayed here. You will not be charged again after this billing cycle ends, and the plan will be removed from your account after this date. After you have cancelled a plan, the green tick will change to a red tick, to indicate that the plan can still be reactivated. You can still reactivate the plan to avoid the cancellation, as long as you click on the reactivate button before the end of your current billing cycle. It will show the amount you have paid previously, and you will not be charged again. You will be charged on the next billing cycle, which is on this date. Click on Confirm, and your plan has been reactivated. Another example could be cancelling the Amazon plan, click on the Amazon page. On the top right, there will be a Cancel button. Tell them why you are cancelling. Sometimes they will offer you a discount to keep the plan before cancelling. You can choose to accept the offer or continue to cancel. Now again, you can reactivate this plan. You can also view all your plans in the dashboard page. Simply scroll down and you can see which plans you have cancelled, and the date they will be cancelled on. For the cancellation of the Shopify plan, the process is a bit different. Instead of clicking on the cancel button, you need to uninstall the Shopify app from your store admin. I will cover these steps in another video with step-by-step -step instructions. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and like this video for future tutorial videos.